Yo, so, hey, uh, I'm thinking about something, man. I was sitting on the, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> so, thinking, right? Think, thinking, thinking, always thinking. Right? As, a, as an entrepreneur, as a small business owner, as a photographer, as a creator, as whatever, right? Always brewing. And I was just sitting there thinking, why don't we support the little guy, man? We won't support the little guy until he own or she own and popping, and then it's it's like people feel like they have the privilege to now wear or buy or eat or whatever this high end thing that used to not be high end until they got on and popping. It took one celebrity, one influencer to promote and push, and now the price has tripled, quadrupled where it used to be, but when they was down here, nobody was really fucking with said service or whatever, right? Why we do that? I, I still don't understand that. I'm 43, and I'm about to turn 44 at the end of this week. Levi's used to be the pants you did not want to wear. Let me say that again. Levi's used to be the brand of pants when I grew up that you did not want to get caught in. Them and Wrangler and Rustler were always neck and neck for bottom of the barrel. Now, Levi's is almost like a damn fashion brand. $200 damn Levi's, $150 Levi's, $75 Levi's. Why? Because they gain more popularity because people are now starting to wear them more because they realize that for the same price of Levi's, exotic fashion, high-end brands are selling the same shit. They just got a different little piece of cloth on it with a different name. And people run out and buying that shit. Like it's the new, and it's the same shit. So dig this. Take Under Armour and Nike. You take a Jordan and you erase or Take a little knife and you scratch off that little piece of cloth that makes that jump man emblem, take it off. And then try to sell it to somebody. Or they'll talk about you all the way around the block. They'll talk you off the basketball court. In your mind, you know it's a Jordan. And do it, it's a social experiment. I dare somebody to do it and see what happens. Take the Jordan, buy it, a real Jordan. Take the emblem off. And watch how many people clown. It's still a Jordan. Only thing that now makes it no longer a Jordan is that little, little bitty little jump man dude. You know what I mean? But we will clown and buffoon somebody because it no longer in our mind a Jordan because we don't see that tiny little inch and a half little jump man on the front, back, tongue, wherever. That's the only thing made it a Jordan. The shoe made in damn Vietnam, Taiwan, in these little sweatshops for $14 or so a pair. But we buying them for $200, $300. Breaking our neck, breaking our bank. Feeling like we depriving our kids if we don't provide them with that bullshit. Because he got his name on it. He built a legacy to support him being able to charge that. All he do. If you've been paying attention, he really ain't coming out with no more shoes since I was a teenager. He ain't came out really with a new shoe since I was a teenager. All he doing is fooling you foolish people by just changing the color. Change the color and y'all think it's new and y'all run out and buy it. Y'all got 12 pairs of the same shoe, 12 different colors and thank y'all this shit. Y'all fools, man. Y'all being fooled. And his marketing team and him and whoever else is doing a damn good job captivating and, and capturing the fact that people just want the newest thing even though it ain't really new. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing up. Not enough has changed from the, the previous shoe, model, whatever, to make people want to run out and buy it. But they feel like if they don't have the newest shit, they ain't. So they run out and buy it because they want to feel like they just, and they, uh, 
It's the same way with the camera manufacturers. Man, they come out with something and then they just change the nomenclature just a little bit, add one or two little features that nobody really gonna use, but it's new. So I want the newest thing and I want that. So support the little folks while they little, man. Support the little folks while they little. People clowning Steph Curry because he wearing Under Armour shoes. He was probably hands down the, the best shooter the game has ever seen, but ain't nobody rocking Steph Curry's. Not like they rocking Jordan's. They clowning Under Armour still, even though they probably a pretty reputable brand. I don't wear none of that shit, but I'm just saying, I'm just trying to compare and give y'all a reference of what I'm, what I'm really trying to say. I stopped running out and supporting this shit, man. And then a little guy like me, if I try to charge luxury prices for my work, even though I feel like my work is there or better than some of the others that folks are going out and buy and pay the same price for. People clown me because who am I? Who are you to charge? How do you feel like? What, are, what separates you from nothing? So pay for it. 